So recently I've told everyone that I've been doing a saltwater tank. I'm going to get started here. I just uh, got this from my grandpa today, a API Marine Saltwater Master Test Kit. Um, it's a really nice kit um, by API. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it and see what's inside. Okay, so I've opened it and got my camera set up. Uh, I know it's a pretty bad camera, but um, you get the, uh, basically it tells you the uh, levels that, that matches up here. Um, it tests high range pH, ammonia, nitrate, and nitrate and nitrate. It's fast, easy, and accurate. Um, it gives you over 550 tests, um, but this is what it'll look like. Um, so let's see. Um, it gives you an English, French, and Spanish, it looks like. Um, high range pH test, Y test pH, testing tips, directions, um, recommendation of the levels. Um, they do that, that whole setup for ammonia. Um, they tell you how to reduce some things, add some things. They do that for nitrite nitrate and then it goes into the Spanish and the French so basically it takes one two three four pages and gives you the whole entire thing but it's some smaller print so I mean it's still pretty good um, then on the back here um, I've already marked where my levels need to be for what I want I have um, my, I'm going to start off, I believe what I want to do is I want to start off Fowler and add in the Reef with a Nano. So I put down levels for kind of in the midst of both of them. So I'll be good and if not I'll change them. But uh, for the high range pH you're going to want between, for pH you're going to want between 8.0 and 8.4. Um, that's going to be the best range. Um, ammonia, you want zero to, I mean, even 0 0.1 will kill, it's harmful to fish. So, you really want to get that as low as you can. So, NH3 and NH4. The nitrite, you really want to be at zero too. And the nitrate, you want to be at zero, but 30 um, ppm is also okay. Um, so, parts per mile, that's alright too. Um, temperature, 78 degrees, this doesn't come with temperature, obviously, um, I recently picked up a, uh, digital thermometer, too, which is working really well, showing that my heater has really been on pretty accurate as far as how it's gonna go, and, uh, so that's working really well, um, the, um, heater, I'll turn up so it's on uh, 78 degrees instead of 75 right now for the fresh water and like I said in my other video I really like that brand and I obviously have been testing it so it's still working really really well and keeping an accurate temperature to what you said the heater has so anyways let's get into um, some some of the they give you four four API test tubes I have three here I gave one to my grandpa um, at first I opened, I thought it was broken, but they actually, the bottom, you fill it up to here. I thought this was the cap, and then, but you pour the drops in. You add five milliliters of water, which I believe is to this line, and you add the drops, whatever it wants you to, and then you shake it up really vigorously, it says, and that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, I see. This is the cap. The bottom is closed, and you put the cap on after you're done with that shake it vigorously or however it wants you to shake it um, so they give you three of those they give you I believe maybe I believe it's an extra slot for a different type of kit that you want to use if it's phosphate or whatever to put that in as well because it like I said it only comes with nitrate nitrate and uh, ammonia and pH so the nitrate the nitrate uh, takes two bottles and 
like I said, that should end up, takes two bottles, this is the second bottle that you add in after, and this is the first one that you add in before, it hasn't been opened, obviously. Um, for the nitrate, you want it at zero, so it should be around yellow, or maybe like a sun yellow, like a dandelion yellow. Um, then, it, let's get into the nitrite, and that has two, that is one bottle, and it should be, what color is it? It should be blue to maybe a little bit, like, maybe turning into a little bit violet, but that's it. You really don't want to have any of those in your tank. Um, high range pH, um, that you're going to want between... Uh, a really light reddish purple or um, like a magenta sort of right here um, that's all you want for the uh, pH and then for the ammonia you there's two bottles there's the first one here and then there's a second one here and that you're gonna want to be yellow and Maybe a, just a tiny, tiny, tiny hint is all you're going to want of green in there. So that's basically how this works. It's really simple. I mean, I haven't tested it out yet, but it seems really simple. I might end up getting something for phosphate. I don't know what I'll do. Uh, some other type of test. But, I mean, uh, this little plastic, heavy-duty plastic part that comes in the case is really nice. Um... But, yeah, I, I'm going to be going on vacation, and then after that, I'll start setting it up and give you guys updates, and I will be moving it. I will be moving it to my living room where everyone can see it, and I'm thinking my plan was to do some dry rock, um, but turn, I mean, I'm going to add some dry rock, some live sand. I'm probably going to end up getting a nano skimmer on there. I'm going to get some Biosphera um, from Instant Ocean, add that in there, which is a really good product. Basically just puts all the bacteria into your tank and spreads it all out. And you can basically, it cycles your tank basically. And you, after you put that in for a few days, literally you can just put fish right in there. I mean, I'm not going to be ignorant to do that. I'm going to wait still, but it speeds it up a little bit. And wait for my test levels to be perfect, my temperature to be perfect. And you know, but my first fish, I think, will be some sort of clownfish. I'm really not sure yet, but I'd love to get a flame hawk as well, but that'll end up being one of my last fish because of its aggressiveness, um, and yeah, I'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm going to take fish back and get some credit and get all the things I'll need after vacation here in a few weeks and it'll it'll turn out really nice hopefully um let's see if I can but yeah those are basically my plans for the tank and my uh I just tested my water it has 121 um parts of hardness in it so I mean Without a reverse osmosis, RODI unit, it should be all right, but it's safer with it. Just well, not safer. You'll just get more algae, which isn't, which is everyone has. You all have the beginning where you got new tank syndrome. And so, but I'm basically, that's what I'm going to be doing for the entire season.